What I have in front of me right now is a tailor frame, and most of blind students in India would recognize this, as this is primarily used for elementary math education. But for those of you who do not know, this is essentially just a frame with holes in it. And there are something known as types, which are basically uh, a different orientation of these types can represent different mathematical numbers. So for example, what I'm showing right now is an orientation of a type, which basically represents a number one. I can move it, rotate it. Basically, this represents two. Uh, this represents 3, uh, and this represents 4, this represents 5, and so on and so forth. And what I'm going to now show to you is, again, the same example, 23 plus 46. So basically, for example, I'm going to put it in the type here, here on my tether frame, and I say, all right, so this is a 2, and I put another type here, and I put in a 3 here, and I take another type, and I put in a 4 here. And I put, take another one. And I put in a 6. And so you would realize when I was talking about the spreadsheet interface, it is pretty much like the spreadsheet interface, except that this is physical instead of virtual. And so now I see here, I can see, I can touch, and I can feel that there's a 3 here. Right below it is a 6. So I know that 3 plus 6 is, of course, a 9. And so I know how a 9 looks like uh, when using uh, uh, you know, a type, the orientation that represents. So I'm going to put in a 9 here. And there you go. And then I have a 2 and a 4. So I can put in a 6 here. And Sorry, I haven't used it in a while. <laughs> and here you go. So this is basically 69 right there, the bottommost row. And so I know now that 2, 3, 4, 6 is basically a 69. And similar to what I showed you on a spreadsheet, this is a very trivial example. You can do way more complicated examples than this, uh, such as um, um, of course, you know, multiplication, division, long division, and so on and so forth. Uh, and of course, the more you use it, the faster you are at doing so. Um, so this is basically yet another way in how you could do computations, which is very common in India. What I'm going to show to you next is another device called the abacus. So this is an abacus right in front of me. This is very popular in China even today. Uh, you can you basically be able to see shopkeepers doing all of their computations on an abacus instead of a calculator. And the way this works is you basically, is right now, all of the beads, this top bead is basically supposed to be aligned at the top. Uh, the ones uh, on the bottom uh, beneath this, this, this basically line that separates the, the top and the bottom, uh, they're all aligned uh, at the bottom right now. I can flip these basically uh, such that this becomes one. You will see that one of the beads gone up. Uh, this represents uh, two now. This represents three. This represents four. And now, if I want to represent five, then basically the way to do that is basically five is that the, the topmost bead goes down and then everything else comes back to its previous position. So now I have five represented on my abacus. Six is going to be one more bead comes up, which is six here. Seven is this. And this represents the units column. If I want, I, the, the next uh, horizontal column is essentially the, the tens column. So basically, I can uh, push one bead up. So now I, I essentially have 17 represented, where 1 is in the tens column, so it represents a 10, whereas 7 is in the units column, and so it represents 1, 7, or 17. Um, I can flip another, another bead up such that now it represents 27. So this can actually also be used for very quick addition, subtraction, and basically all of the arithmetic operations. Very popular in China, also very, very popular when doing Vedic mathematics or other sorts of mental mathematics, even in India and across the world. So this is yet another tool that is commonly used by the blind and visually impaired to do fast computations.